Hi, I'm Eileen Nesslinson. I'm the owner of StretcherHorse.com and Holistic Horse Body Works, LLC. I'm a certified equine body worker, English and Western saddle fitter, and English saddle reflocker. I'm also a certified yoga instructor, thermal imaging technician, and certified in the application of elastic kinesiology tape for horses. Thank you for making an investment in your horse's health by purchasing StretchYourHorse.com videos. Regardless of whether you ride a competition level horse or you just enjoy a pleasurable trail ride, and regardless of your riding discipline, stretching should be a vital component of your horse's overall health care regimen. There are four primary reasons to stretch your horse. The first reason to stretch your horse is to increase range of motion. Horses are just like humans in that the more supple and flexible their muscles are, the better their performance and the more enjoyment they get from their job. The second reason is to help prevent injury by strengthening the connective tissue and also to help recover from an injury that your horse may have. The third reason is to help maintain flexibility, improve your horse's posture, and also maintain overall suppleness of your horse's muscles. Finally, you want to stretch your horse's muscles to reduce the incidence of post-ride muscle fatigue and soreness. In order to gain maximum benefit from the stretches, I'm going to now review the top 10 horse stretching or horse yoga guidelines. Guideline number one, safety first for both you and your horse. Be aware of your surroundings prior to starting any stretch. Be sure you practice good ergonomics and body mechanics when you're helping your horse stretch. Stretches can be performed in cross ties, a single tie with a holder while your horse is ground tied, or with you holding your horse depending upon your horse and the stretch. Guideline number two, all stretches should be performed on warm muscles. Stretching cold muscles can cause tears, strains, and other injuries and issues. Guideline number three, no cheating. This is a very important guideline because most horses are a lot smarter than you think when it comes to finding ways to cheat the stretch. Proper stretching form is critical in order for your horse to gain the maximum benefit from the stretch. So less stretch with proper form is much better than improper form and more stretch. Most stretches should be performed with your horse standing reasonably square and initially standing on all four feet. Guideline number four. Most stretches can be performed up to five days a week on a healthy horse, with the exception of tail pull stretches, which should not be performed more than four days per week. You can repeat most stretches two to three times per session, with the exception of the tail pull stretch, which should only be done one time per session. Remember, most leg, neck, and barrel stretches should be done bilaterally, meaning on both sides of your horse. Guideline number five. The duration of the stretch will vary depending upon many factors such as muscle tightness, prior injury, your horse's conformation, and your horse's nutritional level. Generally speaking, you're going to start with a five to 10 second hold time and gradually increase to 30 seconds. Let your horse be the guide in terms of the extent of the stretch and never force a stretch. When you're performing bilateral stretches, meaning stretches that are done on both sides of your horse, it's very common for one side of your horse to be more flexible than the other side. Guideline number six, the frequency, type, duration, and extent of stretches that are appropriate for a horse recovering from an injury can vary greatly from horse to horse. Don't assume that a stretch that was appropriate for a horse with an injury similar to your horse's injury is appropriate for your horse. You want to approach stretching very cautiously when you're helping your horse recover from an injury. Guideline number seven, never push or pull on joints or support a stretch by pressing on a joint. Guideline number eight, Breathing deeply and relaxing your hands as much as possible will help your horse gain the maximum benefit from the stretch. It's really no different than riding. The more relaxed you are, the more relaxed your horse will be.
Guideline number nine, never proceed with a stretch if discomfort or pain is noted. Guideline number 10, not all stretches contained in stretchyourhorse.com videos are appropriate for every horse. Always consult an equine healthcare professional prior to beginning a stretching regimen. Please be sure to follow all the guidelines every time you stretch your horse. Thank you again for investing in your horse's health. I hope you find the stretches beneficial and that you and your horse enjoy doing them together. Thank you.